welcome back to our channel. Today we have a very fun video and it's our bath best investment. So we thought we'd do this video to wrap up this year because we always preach about styling on a budget but it's also very important to invest in your pieces. So let's get started. So ladies first. So we're always so. <laughs> So we're gonna start in the clothing and fashion department or category. So my first piece I invested are these Nike's Vapormax Utilities. <laughs> <laughs> I got them back in April and these were $300. And at first I was so like, Ugh! but honestly, ever since I got them, I've been wearing them. If not on a daily, literally weekly. I wear them just like, lifestyle every day and I wear them like all the time at the gym so be cute I always see her wearing it so comfortable no shoes has beaten the comfort of these ones so far no one has lived up to me exactly so I have shoes too and Olivia and I got the same shoes yeah and it's these ones it's the Yeezys seven five hundred <laughs> Why I really love these uh, shoes is because they're black, first of all, so I get to wear them often. And then I find they're very comfy and they go with almost anything. And I feel this year I've been really into chunkier shoes, so then these were the perfect match. And I think these are nice because they're like a special chunky. Yeah, like they're like, they're, they kind of look weird. Like they're a statement. Yeah. And I'm also glad that I got the black ones just because the other ones I feel like I would have gotten dirty for the in price. Two point fucking seconds. Yeah. And yeah, sure. they were pretty expensive. They were three hundred dollars, but worth it. it. Was all worth it. Exactly. So my next piece, bitch. If you don't got a super buff by now, like I don't know what get yourself one. Right. <laughs> this is a super puff uh, from Aritzia. I got the longest one in black. And I didn't get this until like I think October this year, so I didn't like wear it the entire year, obviously. But let me tell you something. I have like a few other co sachets, like Pajar, Quartz Co., like some other from like sports stores or whatever, and I genuinely feel like none of them beat the warmness of this one. And for the price, this with tax and everything was like 370. Like, let's be real. Winter coat for 370, that hot, like, and so lightweight, you're literally not gonna find. And it also goes up to minus 40 because it literally covers your whole body. Mm -hmm. So and it's really made for the winter that we have here. Yes, and in Montreal, like, you know the winters are not like any other winters. It's, it's no joke here. Like, it literally goes from like a minus to minus 40 in the next day. I swear. I think it's one of the pieces if you're looking for a winter jacket, definitely check out the Aritzia Super Buff. Yeah. Extra. Extra. <laughs> Extra super. Mm. My next investment is this bag. Oh my god, how did I not think of this? <laughs> okay, well it counts for us both. Yeah, so Olivia and I got this bag. I got it first because I really wanted to update my Supreme bag. Like, I felt like that Supreme bag was too <clears throat> trendy for me, too out there. I opt for like a more uh, minimalistic one and like very like timeless bag. I was so happy that Essence which is based Carried in Montreal, it. yeah, sells it because I was gonna buy it from Codenciel and it's gonna be so much more expensive. Like, nobody wants to pay for extra duty fees. Exactly, so, yeah, I'm so glad I got this bag. I literally use this on the daily. Like, I will always have two bags on me every day. So one with all my essentials in this bag, and then I would have like a tote bag with my lunch and like shoes if I have to bring for work. And yeah, and it has like, compartments there's a hidden one in the back which oh, is yeah. really cool and then there's like the main compartment and then there's this really like avant-garde <laughs> no shade no shade no shade no tea no shade uh, pocket in front I don't really use the front one just in case like it just makes it look ugly when I do shove anything but mm -hmm. if I have to like I'll use it and yeah and I have like another style of this one, but the mine, waterproof version. yeah, the waterproof version, and I love it. Yeah. yeah. So staying in the bag section, 
one of the pieces I got this year was Whoa, whoa, I need to step aside. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I got this bag because I was looking for a backpack that would carry my laptop. For a 15-inch laptop. Honestly, you think that Mac laptops are like not that heavy, but like mine is so heavy. I was I remember during summer I would always complain with Alvin whenever oh we would go out to like work. I was like, what bag do I use? Because like my back is gonna break. <laughs> But I should I bring my laptop today? I don't want to bring it in this dumb bag. Yes. <laughs> and the reason why I love this is first of all, so many, so many, so many um, pockets inside for all your tech stuff or whatever. Like if you're, if you carry a lot of like iPads, MacBook, cameras, um, the whole bag is waterproof. And what I love the most about it and what sold me is that my coworker had one and she told me that however heavy it is, for some reason the bag is designed to like distribute the weight evenly on your back so it's not heavy and like yeah. Yeah. So it's not uncomfortable and I totally approve of that and ever since like I'm like obsessed and also I was looking for something that was big enough but like small enough for like on a daily so whenever I need to travel like it's big enough to like travel. Yeah. Okay, so this year, honestly, my whole life, I've been investing. The best investment in your life would be your skin. Because that's what you wear every goddamn day, right? And I have a few products. The first one is so essential, and only recently I'm like, okay, like I see the difference. And it's sunscreen. So this one, it's ah! I didn't know we got the glossy one, the fit. <laughs> I wanted to try it. <laughs> okay, anyways, okay. this is um, it just this is just one of the sunscreens that I've used. Um, any sunscreen would do, but like I really like the ones that's like you put under like a moisturizer, so like not the freaking thick sunscreen oh, yeah. like for I don't know summer. And uh, this one is from Glossier, it's an invisible shield, and it's 25 SPF. <laughs> And yeah, I noticed so much difference in my skin because I have eczema and I'm under the sun, like I don't notice it right away. Sorry. It's a long term effect. Mm -hmm. So like maybe later in a week, like after I've been in the sun, exposed to the sun, like my skin would like get dry and like deteriorate. Like you can see it in my skin texture. And ever since I've been like constantly using sunscreen, like every day, like even if it's raining, even if it's cloudy, like you have to use sunscreen because there's UV rays on yeah. like well, literally almost everything and that like really damages your skin. Like I used to have like these little bumps on my face and like those are going away and mm -hmm. yeah, it's just like a, <coughs> it's, you're not gonna see the results right away but you're gonna notice it like in the long term. Mm -hmm. Um, my item would be this Uriage Utamazimo's Lipid Replenishing Cream. Wow, that's a mouthful. <laughs> But if you follow me on Instagram, you know that like I've been using this since I got the bottle and I've been raving like over and over it on my stories. And the reason why is I have, I naturally have acne prone skin, but I also had like a eczema crisis on my hands uh, like a few months back. This really helps to replenish the skin after it's been damaged by all the uh, skin that's been inflamed. And not only that, I notice every time I use this on my face because you can use this like anywhere on your body. Literally, I would say 95% of my hyperpigmentation has gone away. If you look back like a few months back, I had so many like red and dark spots on my face and I feel like this, many other reasons. <laughs> Um, this has helped so much and I always tell everybody to like try this cream because I swear by it and I'm almost done. This is a huge tub and I'm gonna get it again. You convinced me. <laughs> or I can just give you a sample, you know? No, it's okay. I'm gonna just get it. <clears throat> so, so my next item, I'm a type of person who likes to smell good and if someone smells good, girl, boy. <laughs> Ooh, I will come close. And ask you what's your perfume motion. So I've invested in another new perfume, a newer perfume. I used to be the type of guy who like like very strong smells, like manly smells. Oh yeah. And I'm past that phase. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went to the clean line, which is oh yeah, very like fresh and light. Light, yeah, like layering scents. Mm -hmm. But now I've bought this one recently from. 
Maison Louis Marie and it's an oil perfume. So instead of like spraying yourself with um, just like cologne or whatever, this is like you put it on your skin. It's worth what it was. Like it was $75, but like Shit. I've only used this much and I've had it for like at least like three months already. So it really lasts as long and I feel like it lingers on myself. Like people always like it does. I was like, why it smells so good? And like when people tell me that, I'm like, I'm gonna go check them out because I want one. I'm gonna say it really. And we're not part of the law, I don't know what I'm doing, literally. So my last item would be the Tatcha cleanser. So if you've been following me on Instagram again, you know that I've been raving about this as well. I initially got the smaller version, the travel size, and with the water cream and the only reason I didn't include the water cream in this video is because I think they do similar things with in terms of like the cleanser and the water cream the water cream is so much more expensive but consider considering the fact that I literally swear by this cream I feel like I don't need the water cream but it was a luxury to have had the opportunity <laughs> opportunity to try that cream but I would say I'd rather spend it on this cleanser this cleanser is like a very gentle daily cleanser it has like I guess special ingredients that makes it like really amazing and I love that it's gentle enough but like it has deep cleanses. it deep cleanses with like I don't know what it is because they're not beads it's like something inside that gives texture and my skin like loves it I feel like really helps with the complexion overall and more minimizing. Yes! So my last item is not really something I bought but I got it as a gift and honestly it is an investment because it's fucking expensive. What did you get? And thank you to oh. my sister for getting it for my birthday. I only got it just recently but like the AirPods guys. I commute every day to work now because I work in downtown and I don't like driving all the way there so I take the train and I've been always struggling with my wires. I don't know why. I just like <laughs> flick it off like when I just do like one movement. And uh, AirPods or like the Apple earphones don't stay in my ears actually because like that's so weird. Yeah, like when it's because of the like, each time I pull on the wire, it just comes off easily. But these ones just stay in your ear because there's no wire like mm -hmm. you know, pulling. Pulling. Also, I go to the gym. I have another earphones from the gym from you guys. It's just like, okay, wireless earphones are just like a great investment yeah. this year for me and yeah, they're just so practical, easy to connect to your phone. Um, the only downside is like just making sure you're charging it every yeah. time. So it's like another device to like charge, but that's okay for me. Like. But you also told me like, if you're, depending on what you're looking, it's not one that isolates the sound. Yeah, your sound. so like some of, they're starting to make those. <clears throat> But like, I feel like it's like when I'm commuting, like I don't want to isolate the sound yeah. because I'm scared. Like I don't know, a bus could hit me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're walking on the street. Exactly. Like, yeah. And also, what's really good about the AirPods, this is a charging case on itself. So like, it's like there's char there's like three charges or four charges, and then like so there's the actual AirPods. So how do you charge a case? Um, you charge it. Yeah. So you charge the whole thing, like with your iPhone. But yeah. Like, I fucking love these so much. <clears throat> do not, like, all the money was worth was spending on them. So, I guess that's it. Yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I would love to know what- We would love to know. <laughs> we would love to know. <laughs> She's what... becoming a solo. <laughs> <laughs> it's been too long, guys. <laughs> So we would love to know what you guys have invested this year, if some of these items you've tried or want to try in the comments down below. And happy holidays! Yes! And happy and new year! Oh, don't you slap my balls. <laughs> and happy new year. See you guys next year. Exactly. Bye! Bye.